Well, this week we've been paying tribute to our colleague and our friend and everyone, a man who everyone loved, I should say, Larry Gabbert. He did pass away this last Friday after complications of a heart attack that he suffered last Wednesday. And when we first heard about it, there wasn't anyone in this building that didn't think Larry would be back for the morning show on the following Monday with a great story about everything that had happened. But instead, we've had to come to terms with the fact that Larry will not be back here with us. And the last week has been filled with stories and memories of a man that many considered the face of the Treasure Valley television industry for so long. And he left us so much to remember. There's the superficial stuff, of course, his great mustache that we all loved, uh, the comb over that I borrow on a daily basis, of course, his beautiful Dockers, I'm wearing mine today. A lot of great things about Larry that you just, you saw on the outside, but Larry was so much more. He was such a part of so many people's lives and people really just learned so much from Larry and Larry touched so many lives. Do you know who I am? When the movie Anchorman came out in 2004, you weren't alone when you thought, well, that's obviously Larry Gebert. I'm kind of a big deal. Really? People know me. Yeah, lots of people knew Larry, either from his morning show antics. Yeah, I've always wanted to do this on camera, so. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, See? That's lovely. Larry with his pants down. To another kind of streaking, his consecutive weeks on water skis. 995 weeks in a row, long enough to fill 18 years. Over that same stretch, Larry had a lot of people honor him in some rather off the green wall ways. Remember Flat Larry? Oh, the places he would go, packed and transported from burger joints to the Big Island. Can you tell which is the real one? Then there were those three-dimensional ones, too. The, the height might give it away. Like the time Mountain View High School junior Mallory Cowell came up with the perfect Halloween costume. You did a great job with that. That looks good. That was good. really good, Jeff. Did you yeah. style that yourself? Um, I, I just got it at Savers. Um, <laughs> and I just I'm gonna get a used a lot of hairspray. <laughs> yeah, so do I. Hairspray helps. <laughs> or when Scott Burney, tattooed Larry to his upper leg. No, I would agree that I'm not a celebrity on the same level as Johnny Cash or Marilyn Monroe or anything along those That's lines. up for debate and from what, some people there, yeah. People, yeah. <laughs> exactly right. And I said, and I said, and most people out there would feel the same way. I said, but to you, it was something you wanted to do. And your explanation was great because you're, you're an Idaho native. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. it's a born and raised. You just wanted something that spoke to you about Idaho. That represented the gem state and I couldn't think of anything better. It was truly a one-of-a-kind commemoration. Now, has there been a big demand for this tattoo now that you've done, that you've <laughs> created it on Scott? Oh, um, you know, you would, you, would think, you would think that I would do more Larry tattoos, but... Um, has there been anybody at all who's asked for it uh, besides Scott? Mm, <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. I did want to say thank you, too, for actually adding more hair than what I really have. <laughs> there was the action figure and a figure with a little less action. Last month, Morning Show viewer Blue sent this in. He had just retired and had taken up carving. And Larry was his first celebrity attempt. Larry, of course, was honored. Because, yeah, come to think of it, Larry was kind of a big deal. Larry went from a consecutive weekly streak of uh, water skiing, which ended in 2018, to a consecutive monthly streak, which actually ended in January of this year. But his whole streak together lasted 21 years. Oh, and there's one more, a late addition to the late Larry Gebert legend. How many of us can claim to have our tribute paid by a perfect puppet? And of course, we're being joined by the one and only Gary Lebert, broadcaster extraordinary. Now, Gary, I'm guessing you're an extraordinary broadcaster because you have a mustache? Exactly. And actually, in journalism school, that's what they taught us. Never leave home without an extra mustache because you never know when you're going to need one. You never know when you're going to need one. Well, Larry's impact on viewers was one thing, but getting a forecast where your weekend was always in view paled in comparison to the impact Larry had on nonprofits here in the Gem State. There won't be a St. Alphonsus Festival of Trees, a Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic, a United Way Flapjack Feed, a Snake River Stampede Buckaroo Breakfast to benefit 4-H, a Boys and Girls Great Dolphin Dunk, Neighborhood Works, Paint the Town, a Boise Rescue Mission, Thanksgiving Banquet, Salvation Army, Stuff the Bus Toy Drive, or a Make-A-Wish Polar Bear Plunge. Seven Cares will also never be the same without Larry Gebert. And that legacy will last forever. 
Over his 30 years at Channel 7, he helped raise millions of dollars that improved the lives of countless people in our community. It's an honor to sign a proclamation making Larry's birthday, June 25th, Larry Gebert Day in the city of Boise. It'll be a day for acts of service, big and small, and help us remember Larry in action every day. We can honor him by finding a person, a group, an organization that needs help or a helping hand. Let's do our part to make sure Larry's legacy of giving continues for generations to come in the city of Boise. So mark your calendars. On Saturday, June 25th, the day will be known as Larry Gebert Day in the city of Boise. You can find a nonprofit that's close to you and your heart, and you can give your time or resources, really anything to help make a difference. Because we know that's what Larry did his entire life and had continued to do until he couldn't. Everyone is also invited to pay their respects to Larry this coming Tuesday, April 12th, at the Cathedral of the Rockies near downtown Boise. His service will start at 10 o'clock in the morning. If you cannot make it to the service, we will be streaming it live on KTVB.com.